Hey everybody, it's Muscle Car Campy back with another blast from the past. Actually, we've got two blasts from the past today. The first one we're going to talk about is this factory 427, 425 horse car. Yes, it's a real L72. Yes, it's a four speed. And yes, it had 488 gears from the factory. It was a race car for a dealership. Uh, the other car is owned by the same person, Bob Martin of Florida. And he's got a 66 Biscayne four speed car but with a big block under the hood, a 454, lots of modern conveniences in that one. Total opposite of this car. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of these two cars, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and while you're there, hit the bell so you make sure you get a notification every time a new video goes live. Intermediate muscle cars were exploding in popularity in 1966, but the biggest problem on the GM side is they were limited to 400 cubic inches. Chevrolet especially hamstrung the Chevelle because its top power plant, the amazing L72 427, was not available in that mid-sized car. This was the same engine that propelled stock Corvettes into the high 12s and low 13s on 6-inch wide tires. They definitely needed to step it up. Smart shoppers, however, knew you could get this 425 horse engine in the full-size Chevys too. The real savvy racers knew that a 427 Biscayne was only a little heavier than an SS396 Chevelle, but was a lot more powerful. The advertised weight for the 427 Biscayne was under 3,900 pounds, and if you could live without certain options like a heater, or in the case of our feature car here, a radio, you could deduct about 20 more pounds. Halfway through 1965, Chevrolet finally retired the W motor, the fabled 409, and replaced it with the Mark IV big block, 396 cubic inches, 425 horsepower in the Corvette, and the full-size cars. It was quite a stunner. In 66, they took the gloves off entirely. They made the engine 427 cubic inches, and the top-tier motor, the L72, had a solid lifter cam, a 780 CFM Holley carburetor. It was rated at 425 horsepower, yes, but in the beginning of the year, the same engine was rated at 450 horsepower in the Corvette. Um, whether it was them being nervous over the government or the insurance industry, they de-rated the engine to 425 horsepower. You can actually find some early Corvettes with 450 horsepower decals on their air cleaners. One of the features that was standard on this car, the idler pulley, it really kept the car from throwing belts at high RPM, and these things could easily rev over 6,000 RPM, even though the red line was at 6,000. They were still making power up there. Also, the big block Corvette and the L72 full-size cars shared these fabulous exhaust manifolds. They were really, really free-flowing. They did not fit on the Chevelle, so the, you could get the L78 in a Chevelle, the 375 horse 396, but they did not come with those manifolds. You know, even though the Biscayne was named after that beautiful bay down by Miami, it was really the lowest, cheapest price full size Chevy you could buy. Um, up the pecking order, you got the Biscayne was the cheapest one. This car actually has. The optional carpeting, this car came with a rubber floor mat from the factory as standard equipment. There's this beautiful bench seat that is restored in original material. Um, if you come over here, there's no radio. Looky there, no tunes. The only tunes is that solid lifter cam tickling the valves. You do have a uh, defroster, a heater in this car. Like I said, if you deleted that, that was worth about 22 pounds, give you about another hundredth in the quarter mile. Uh, red line on the factory tack here is 6,000. 1966 was the second year of this new body style, and it was really a glorious design. Uh, they cleaned it up as they usually did that second year, so it's a little cleaner up front than the uh, 65. You know, it's one of those things where people can go back and forth for hours which one they like better. The uh, 65 had round taillights in the back, the 66's had 
flat tail lights. Um, but I just love the, the design in here, how it curves upwards, goes down towards the back of the car. You know, these were big full-size cars, and if you took it up to the Caprice class, they were luxury cars. But these were still fast cars that could look like performance cars. And you love the kick up on the rear quarter here. I love the Biscayne's formal roof. Didn't have the uh, sloping fastback like the Impala SS. And here's a, a real trick on the Biscayne. Uh, the Impala had the lights went around here. Um, you know, you only had two lights. On, but you go all the way around, you got a three-piece rear bumper here. Um, these cars just look mean from the factory, yet they were elegant. Uh, you know, two things Muscle Car Campy really loves on this car. These are not reproduction tires. Believe it or not, Bob looked all over and found eight, count them eight, original bias plies that would fit this car. God, I love the dog dish hubcaps. Really sweet. But then there's that. 427 turbo jet emblem. My God, man. Announced to the world. It doesn't tell you much. This could be a taxi cab in New York City. But with that emblem, you know, this thing is not bringing people to the airport. As we said, this car is more of Bob's toy. It's got a 454 from 1972, Edelbrock aluminum heads, Holley sniper fuel injection with the pump in the tank. It's got electric fan to keep it cool, and it does have air. This was an original factory air car, and it's air conditioned again. It was from the factory. It was a 283 car uh, with a three speed. Uh, so it really wasn't a uh, design for performance, but Bob owned the car. He sold it, the new owner put the 454 in it, and uh, Bob bought it back, and uh, it's quite a cool little car. Man, there's nothing like the sound of that Mark IV big block. It still says 427, 425 on the air cleaner. That's a misnomer. Look at the size of those headers breathing into three inch exhaust. One thing on these big block Chevys, they love, love, love exhaust headers and big exhaust. That really, really helps them breathe. Muscle Car Campy here with YouTube legend Revan Evan Smith. We got we are in a car right now that everybody needs to have a, a chance with. So, even Ford people. Even Ford people. It's a 66 Biscayne, 427, 425 horse, four-speed, bench seat, manual brakes, manual steering, and factory 488 gears. Oh. This thing was built for one thing and one thing only, 1320. Uh, no power steering, manual brakes. This thing is basically an engine wrapped in a body with a transmission. I love the mechanical feel of the car, Jim. You can hear the lifters, the whine of the transmission. Of course, you know, the rear end, you're not getting away with 48s without it having a little nice hum to it. Well, it's just part of uh, what you get when you build yourself a drag racer special from the factory. Yeah, you know, I keep looking to shift into fifth gear, and uh, that ain't happening, is it? Not in this car. Like you said, man, the bench seat, the curve of the shifter, the wrap around the bench, enough trunk space to bring a family of six on vacation. Yeah, you, this is like a 12-passenger vehicle. Six inside, six in the trunk. Yep. So, Jim, let me ask you, what are... You know, if you couldn't swing the 427, which obviously that's what makes this a, a rare car, what were some of the different engines that would have come in this car if it was more pedestrian? Well, you could get a hydraulic lifter version of this engine, what I believe it was rated at 390 horsepower, and, you know, but you could probably get an, a number of different 327s in it. Um, you know, that was pretty much the standard Chevrolet, the standard bearer for Chevrolet street car performance back then. Right. But a good driver, 
high 13, low 14 second car easily. Um, the pictures that we have of the car when it was running super stock D was running 11.7 at 124 miles an hour. Yeah, that is, that's just absolutely cooking. I mean, it's a big car, but man, what a delight. I tell you, Jim, I've been in a lot of classics, a lot of classic muscle cars, a lot of classic cars. This is about as clean a car as I've ridden in. I mean, every part of the trim, there's not a scratch on this thing. Restored absolutely beautifully. I'm telling you, with the 488 gears, this thing just wants to explode <laughs> off first gear, man. I can feel it. It's got so much gear. When Jim takes his foot out of it, it's literally like putting the brakes on. Those big gears just drag you right back down. And, oh, there's that gorgeous floor barrel. Oh, I so, so want to open this thing up. Squeeze but, it again, man. I got to hear it. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to. Uh, Bob lent me this car. He really doesn't even know me. He met me tonight. We talked on the phone. I really got to give him the car back the way it was. Um, my God. Man, this is the kind of car that if we had this thing in English Town back in the day for, uh, for an afternoon, we'd have a we'd have a blast. And I'm telling you, I know his friend Harry is the guy who, who tuned it and I think built the motor. Did a lot of the paint work on it too. It's this thing is amazing. I mean this thing is running right. I you know having a channel where you drive a lot of classics and you're around a lot of classic cars. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them don't run the way they're supposed to. I can tell you, I didn't go over 45, 50 miles an hour, and I can tell you this car is absolutely loaded for bear. It's got a 373 in it. Okay. He did a lot of highway driving with this car. Yeah. I do not like the first gear in front. No, I, he changed that clutch out. I've driven enough of these cars with these gearboxes. They're wonderful. Yeah. They're wonderful gearboxes, but is that clutch is like it's too much. Very much so. It's not. And again, but you're not going to be drag racing this anytime soon. I, no, I never will drag race. And it's a typical Tremec gear. I mean, boy, that shifted boom was right in gear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, what air conditioning unit is in this car? It's the original air conditioner, but the compressor was updated. The okay. evaporator, condenser, everything is the original. Gotcha. Everything. All the, the AC works from here. It's all original. Wow, this thing drives beautiful. The power right steering. Oh. oh, this is gorgeous. On the highway, it cruises. When you get in fifth gear, it just cruises. Oh, man. And that's what he built it for. Sure, I can see that. I swapped him. I, he had a, I had a street rod that I had bought from a widow that needed a bit of completion on it, and he had to have it. It was a 35 Buick Vicky, and Victoria bodies by all other manufacturers. They quit uh, producing them in 34, Ford, Chevy, all of them. Well, Buick went one more year and built a 35, and I've been looking, looking, and looking. Found it and uh, bought the car. It had a small block Chevy Camaro front clip on it air conditioning tilt wheel he had to have it so he said i'm going to give you your old car back and we'll make a swap i said no you won't he says i'm coming to get it next thing i knew there was a transport truck at my front door that's funny we're we're that good of friends so yeah. we really are oh uh, this this thing just drives supremely nice jim on the highway it's phenomenal oh man and what brakes do you have up front drum but they're 11 inch 11 instead inch. of the regular I asked him why I never put this on, and he said because I didn't need them. Okay. I said, but you put power steering on. He says, so what? I needed it. <laughs> if I'm going to keep the car, and I'm kind of sitting on the fence, I've got a factory original tilt telescopic steering wow. for 66. You know how rare that is? Yeah, I know you could get uh, telescoping in a Corvette. Tilt telescopic. It's tilt telescopic. Yes, wow. you could get a tilt wheel in here or a tilt telescopic. I just love driving these cars. I love your cars. You are Thank a you. true enthusiast. You have two absolutely great cars that I know of. 
and uh, I just... That's very kind of you to say. I respect what you say. Well, you're very kind to let me drive it. Oh, don't be this silly. This is... Uh, a car guy is a car guy. Come on. I know, but still, this is just an absolute treat for me. Well, if you ever... I, I mean, this is an offer. Not my best game, my Maruma, but if you ever want to drive something on the weekend and you'd like to drive this, call me. You can come and get it. All right. I'm serious. I appreciate that. I mean, my Mopar will get jealous. Okay, hey everybody, this is Muscle Car Campy signing off. Before we go, I want to remind everybody, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video goes live. This was a great night for me. Got to drive a pair of 66 Biscaynes, an original L72 car with a bench seat, a four speed, and this beautiful car here, Hot Rod 454, Tremec five speed, shifts like butter. We love them. Thank you, Bob Martin, for giving us the opportunity to feature your cars and for especially for the opportunity to drive them. Check back soon. We've got lots more cool stuff coming up on Muscle Car Campy.